In today's video, I will show you how to use the Volume Composition, Buy and Sell, Active and Passive indicator to detect market trade opportunities. The Volume Composition, Buy and Sell, Active and Passive indicator is a volume indicator that helps traders to plot the amount of a particular asset that is being traded over a certain period of time on the price chart. Volume is arguably one of the most important data points as it directly relates to liquidity. High volume can be an indication of strength, price likely to continue moving, or absorption, price likely to halt or turn. Buy and sell volume is defined by volume associated with lower time frame up or down moves. This classification is further broken down to passive or active, standing for decreasing or increasing volume, for example, a move up with volume higher than previous bar volume, equals active buy volume, a move up with volume lower than a previous bar volume, equals passive buy volume. As we can see at the bottom of our price chart, the volume composition consists of the following formation. Number one, total volume, buy and sell. By default, it is in the gray node. Number two, dominating volume, buy or sell. By default, it is in the dark green or dark red node. Number three, dominating active volume, buy or sell. By default, it is in the light green or light red node. Number four, dominating volume as a percentage of total volume. Number five, dominating active volume as a percentage of total active volume. To apply this trading indicator, search the keywords volume composition, buy and sell, active and passive, and select the EP version by Quantify Tools on TradingView's Community Scripts folder. Let's check the time settings for this indicator under the Input settings. Volume data is fetched from a lower time frame that is automatically adjusted to fit the time frame you're using. By default, the following settings are applied. A lower time frame for charts lesser or equal to 30 minutes is a one minute time frame. The lower time frame for charts greater than 30 minutes and lesser or equal to 3 hours is 5 minutes time frame. Charts greater than 3 hours and lesser or equal to 8 hours are 15 minute time frame. Charts greater than 8 hours and lesser or equal to 1 day is 1 hour time frame. Charts greater than 1 day and lesser or equal to 3 days is 2 hours time frame. Charts greater than three days is four hour time frame. These time frame settings can be changed by traders. The lower the time frame, the more precision you get, but with the cost of less historical data and slow loading time. Users can also choose which source to use for determining buy or sell volume. For example, using close as the source, a close that is higher than the previous close would be considered as buy volume. This could be replaced with open, high, low, and close, for example, resulting in a volume direction based on the OHLC average. How can we detect buy and sell volume in the market with this trading indicator? This indicator may appear to be too complex for first time users, right? Don't panic. I will show you the simplest way to generate buy and sell signals with this technical trading indicator. To generate a buy setup, traders need to watch out for a minimum of long two or more consecutive deep and light green volume bars on the indicator. Long two or more consecutive dark and light green volume bars as the examples we can see highlighted on this trading indicator. A successful close of two or more consecutive dark and light green volume bars above the white moving averages would confirm the bullish setup in an uptrend. The trade setups become more reliable if they support the direction of a bullish market trend. To generate a sell setup, 
Traders need to watch out for a minimum of long two or more consecutive dark and light red volume bars on the indicator. Long two or more consecutive dark and light red volume bars as the examples we can see highlighted on this trading indicator. A successful close of two or more consecutive dark and light red volume bars above the white moving averages would confirm the bearish setup in a downtrend. The trade setups become more reliable if they support the direction of a bearish market trend. To trade the reversal of a bearish trend into a bullish trend, traders can combine the dark and light green volume bars close above the MA plus bullish divergence formation on the volume bars like the example we have in this downtrend. Likewise, to trade the reversal of a bullish trend into a bearish trend, Traders can combine the dark and light red volume bars close above the MA plus bearish divergence formation on the volume bars like the example we have in this uptrend. It's time we execute some trade setups with this trading indicator in the market. As we can see in this uptrend, after the price made a bearish pullback in this uptrend, the price gravitated upward and the indicator carved a series of consecutive dark and light green volume bars. Stop loss can be placed at the low of this bullish upward swing. Time to buy. We will target two risk to reward ratios. Let's patiently wait to see how the buy trade goes. Our take profit hit. Now let's see how to use the indicator to confirm a selling setup in the market. Let's search for another trade setup. As we can see in this downtrend, after the price made a bullish pullback in this downtrend, the price later progressed down and the indicator carved consecutive dark and light red volume bars. Time to sell. Stop loss can be placed at the high of this bearish swing. We will target two risk to reward ratios. Let's patiently wait to see how the sell trade goes. Our take profit hit. 